What is up, my boners? This is Mr. I Try Hard here, that nasty uh, commentator in all motherfucking YouTube. How you guys been doing? I've been doing motherfucking fantastic, and today we have a gameplay of Kill Confirmed on the Map Meltdown for you guys. Hope you enjoy this Black Ops 2 gameplay, the first Black Ops 2 gameplay on our weekly series, The Vagina Chronicles, which means it's Sunday, which means we also have Kelly K-Pop, the finest vagina in all the land. What's up, Kelly? Buongiorno, boneries. Uh, I don't know what the, <laughs> I don't know what the Italian word for boners is. Uh, somebody's gonna tell us in the comment yep, section down below. We're gonna learn. <laughs> it's good to learn new things every day. You might as well leave a few other languages there too. Just tell us what boner is in your language. Oh, my, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, that's cool. Okay. So we have a topic for today, which is sex drive. It was asked uh, us in the comment section of last week's video. By the way, if you have any uh, uh, topics you guys want us to cover, feel free to let us know. And uh, sex drive is a good one because I feel like if it's really hard for the guys to understand a women's sex drive and... I know for the most part, us guys tend to have a like a higher sex drive. We want more sex. We we ask for it more. We're usually the ones who go forth and and try to initiate said sexual actions. And a lot of times, we feel like if we're the only ones wanting it, man, and it it just hurts our feelings. You know, guys have feelings too, and we start to cry and we start to feel bad about ourselves, and that sucks. I thought Kelly. you were gonna start crying right there. Like you genuinely sounded just so upset. I, well, no, not me, because I got bitches throwing, you know, themselves at me <laughs> left and right. But, I mean, for a normal person, it's really hard, you know, so no pun intended. Um, Kelly, what's up with you females, man? Why you girls no want sex? I don't think it's like that. I think it's like, all right, so that whole menstrual cycle thing is a pretty big damper on sex. So you're blaming it on the vagina? <laughs> yes, it is the vagina. Um, but, like, alright, this is how a vagina kind of works. So you have your months where you should try to have a baby, like, that's what it's for, where the vagina gets wet pretty easily. Okay. Then you have the month, or not the month, the week leading up to your period, where it just kind of slows down, gets more dry, it's like, meh. But, it's, the, it's that week during the period where it's like, Girls are really horny during that time, but sex just isn't really an option. Most guys don't want to have sex with that. But I have something to solve all of your issues because guess whoa. what? Whoa, whoa, pens and pencils, people. Yeah, Let's get yeah. ready. Take take this shit down. Kelly's going to solve all, uh, all our sex drive issues here. Let's go. Okay. So most guys don't want to have sex with the bloody vagina. All right? No, I'm not going to no. hate on that. Whatever. It's your thing. Um, but... You know, orgasm when a girl has menstrual cramps can cure them. Whoa, 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 what? Like, if a girl has an orgasm while she has cramps, it'll make them feel better for at least 15 minutes. Oh my god. So, basically, you know, you can just keep giving her orgasms and she'll feel fine all day. So, 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 okay, alright, alright, alright. I'm at home, there's this chick I wanna fuck, and she's like, I can't, you know, I got menstrual cramps, I feel like shit. I just go up to her and I'm like, yo, bitch. Menstrual cramps get cured by me giving you orgasms. Yeah, all right? And since you don't want to have sex with her, what you do is you carry around a vibrator, all right? You have a vibrator, you get that bitch off, and then she's going to get you off. I don't, but see, you're counting on the fact that the girl wants to reciprocate that feeling, and if she's feeling like, you know, all that badness inside of her, which is causing coming from her vagina or whatnot, um... I'm feeling like if that feeling is not going to be reciprocated, like she's well, not going to want to. Well, then hit her in the it. head with the vibrator until she dies. I like your attitude. <laughs> no, that's just me. <laughs> At least till she's knocked out. Because I mean, okay, so for us guys here, we have a functioning penis. It's always, you know, 100% ready. It's good to go. You know, we're not going to have any problems with it. It's always ready for action. And for like us looking at a girl, it's always like. Well, there's one week where she's fucking bleeding out of that shit. We're not going to touch it. And then there's another week where she acts like a bitch. So we're not going to get close to that thing. She's just a fucking monster at this point. So there are two weeks where I think it's safe, right? So, like, aside from your whole, you know, give her pleasure to stop her menstrual cramp stuff, there, there, there are these two weeks where, you know, we can try to initiate some kind of sexual relation. And what's the... 
I, the, the thing I'm trying to say is, what's the best way to go about it? Like, is is there, like, something we should do? Like, because for some girls, the whole, you know, bring her roses and, and, and douse her with, I don't know, perfume and, 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 and do all that good stuff and try to light candles and whatnot, that stuff doesn't always work. Well, most of the time, you just grab a titty and punch her in the cunt, and then she's ready. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where you like. I, okay, That's boners what works for me. What? No, oh I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you know, I think girls are really like. Why don't? All right. Sorry. I know I'm like sound like an idiot. What I'm trying to say here is sometimes like watching a movie where there's like this really intimate love scene can get her in the mood. I think girls are kind of very like. We're more emotional, so if you take a movie, like, let's say, I don't know, what's that movie the girls are like, um, the one with the swans and that hot guy? Uh, I the, don't know. The notebook, that one. Okay, oh, okay, sorry, I couldn't think of it. Uh, girls like that movie. And maybe if you watch a movie like that with her, but, you know, make sure there's, like, a good sex scene in it and a hot dude, maybe she'll be like, hmm, I have a dude right here. Why don't I go for okay, that? Okay, okay, okay. So I gotta get her all lovey-dovey. Now, that's a good idea, and I like that. You know, that's good with a girlfriend. Now, what if you're just a guy out partying, and you're having a good time, you meet a chick, you know, you bring her back to your place. You're not really into the whole love thing. You you want to just pound that thing. Okay, and, and but, I mean, she should know that that's where it's leading. Like, if this girl doesn't know you, and you're bringing her back to your place, like... That bitch should know what's me? going down. Like, that's the only reason you're bringing her back to your place. Like, I've, obviously, it's not for fucking cuddles. I've had experiences where I've brought a, a chick back from the club. We were both drunk as fuck. All right, it was just us two. And we ended up watching some stupid fucking animated movie, like Pixar shit. And, and we ended up, like, cuddling on the sofa and, like... Nothing happened. Like, my dick was hard the entire fucking time. Uh, I, I was for sure I was getting some. Like, when she said yes at the club to go back home, I was like, I'm in, right? This is going to happen. And no, for her, it was like, you know, story time with Mr. I Try Hard. And, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and let's fucking tell jokes and laugh and cry at Pixar movies. And yeah, I was really fucking mad. So that thing doesn't always work, man. Well, then you got to ask them if they're DTF. You gotta say, look, I'll take you home, but we're gonna be fucking. And if you have a problem with that, then we can stop talking right now. Like, you gotta be a little forward with people sometimes. Is being up front something that guys should do a little bit more? Like, is is, is telling them up front? Like, because, like, I feel like a lot of guys go, like, 100,000 different routes to get the sex. It's just going at them and being like, hey, I would like to pound your vagina. Are you down? You know, is that the way to go? Yeah, I think so. I think girls like that. Really? I think we like to be told what to do or how to do it and a little more roughly than normal like that's why i think guys have always say this stupid thing which i don't really agree with it but like that nice guys finish last right. what you have to be is a nice guy but a nice guy that can talk dirty and you're fucking in all right all right so maybe that's the way shit goes guys out there you guys should go try this out lead go go to your chick or go to the girl that you want to fuck and be like all right you know what i'm dtf are you, and, and when can we do this, and when can, can we make this happen, and, you know, yeah, you're gonna strike out a few times, that's just bound to happen, you know, nobody's a fucking Brad Pitt in this house, but, um, you will get that pussy eventually, that's what Kelly's saying, that's her advice, and you know what, I think it's a good idea, and I, I think we should all follow and, 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 and try that out, and let me know how that went, I think. What about guys when they don't have a sex drive, <laughs> like, when they're too tired? Uh, from my experience, all the girl, like, when the girl's ready to go and the guy's like, you yeah, know, I'm tired, all you really have to do is, like, touch his penis a little exactly. bit. And then he's like, he'll act like he's, like, tired. He'll be like, yeah, I'm sleeping. And then he'll be wide awake in, like, five minutes and be like, hey, yeah, let's yeah. do this. Because I was going to say, like, sometimes I don't feel like sex, but I can feel like if I want to have sex in about 30 seconds flat. Like, I'll be like, nah, I'm really not down for it tonight. And it's like... Boom, boom. There we go. I'm like, down now. Like, all you have to do is poke a penis, and they're like, all right, <laughs> let's do this. Like, you don't even have to do it in a sexy way. You could, like, slap it. Not hard, but... <laughs> Why do I picture just a girl just walking up to a guy and just poking it with one finger, just, like, with her index finger sticking out, just like, puck, 
just pokes, just fucking pokes the penis, and it's like, boom, that's it, it that's all it takes. Man, we suck. Like, we need to hold that shit back and make her want it more. That's when they become, like, these sexual monsters and shit gets fun and oh, everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's what guys don't understand. If you, like, if you refrain from sex with the female for a long time, she just becomes, like, this evil monster, and she's just gonna <laughs> go at you. Yeah, that's, yeah, you, you guys can try that too, just not have sex with the bitch, even if she pokes your penis, just no, just, you, you, you fucking you don't You slap her back, if she yeah. pokes your penis, you poke her in the eye and say, bitch, please. Yeah, exactly, you don't touch my penis, bitch, it's mine, and then eventually she turns into, like, this, like, lustful needing of penis monster of sex, and she will just <laughs> come at you She's gonna her. jump you when you least expect it, and then you're just gonna be doing it, and you're gonna be like, yeah. oh, this is amazing. You're going to wake up one morning, and she's going to be on your penis, and you're going to have no choice, and you're going to be tied up to a bed, and you're going to be like, oh, okay, this is how shit works. This this, this is nice. <laughs> I feel like that's a great way to end the video. Yeah, that is. All right. <laughs> All right, perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out Kelly's channel. She's linked down below and somewhere on the screen for you guys if you don't know who she is. She does some great content. And any last words before we depart? Um, dicks. Dicks? Uh, yeah, poke yeah. the dick. All right. Poke Whatever. a dick, grab a tit, be safe. <laughs> I thought you were going to say rub a clit, but that's just... <laughs> that would have been good. I, I, I kind of fucked up at the end there. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Mr. I Try Hard and K-Pop. Bye. Bye.